thank God for zippers. Lose everything I own. Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here, and welcome to another video. God, I'm so excited. Uh, this is a bike I've actually really wanted to ride as someone who's thinking about buying an adventure bike in their future. But before we get into that, I just wanna thank District Harley Davidson. You guys will have known them for years now as Batley. They are now District HD. My main man, Sam, uh, just walked me through the new TFT display, which I'll show you guys, of course, in that video, as well as a walk around and looking at all the components on this beautiful 2018 R1200 GS Rally Edition that has that TFT display. I mean, what an interesting bike. But before we jump into that, really quickly, I want to thank my sponsors of this video, Rollick. Rollick is connecting enthusiasts like me with a certified network of dealerships like District Harley-Davidson to find people the best prices and really the most transparent buying experience for motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, and RVs. Please go check them out at GoRollick.com linked in the description down below. So we are on to the next bike. This being a 2018 BMW GS Rally. Rally edition, yeah. Yep, so rally edition. See, um, it's got the black cross broke wheels, the black engine, the blue frame, the, the, the frame protectors. And this is also equipped with, uh, they call it the sport suspension. So it's essentially uh, the adventure suspension on a standard GS. Okay. So, you know, not everybody wants that big eight gallon tank from the adventure. Here you have the, the lighter, narrower profile of the standard GS. So you can really rip through some woods on this thing. The color scheme on this is really like tops. Yeah, I think oh it, yeah. I, I love it, I love the way it looks. So this one also comes with an optional bench seat, is that right? Yeah, the rally seat, which you know, if you're gonna go off-road, we'll allow you to stand and be able to slide forward and back okay. on it. And then probably the biggest addition on this is gonna be the brand new TFT that's coming on all these. TFT display, they call it connectivity. Nice and vibrant. It's really, really nice. Colors. It's huge. Um, like if the sun hits it, it doesn't wash it out. Um, you can go through here and Check that out. Your onboard computer, so you cool. get a nice picture of your GS. BMW Motorrad connected. Okay. And then through your phone, you can get navigation through your display. That is so cool. Uh, you don't get a map, but you get turn by turn directions. Sure. And if you do have your headset hooked up, we'll also enable the media and uh, telephone functions. Headset being maybe any Senna Bluetooth device. Right, any or, Bluetooth yeah. headset. Um, and then also, so you'll get your navigation through your speakers and your helmet. That is really, really cool. Okay, so uh, very familiar Boxer Twin. Yeah, Of yep. course, same kind of powerhouse. That the wet head, so water-cooled yep. heads. Um, very efficient. You have dynamic electronic suspension adjustments. Nice. And which is pretty cool here. ESA. Let's go ahead and... Uh, it on suspension modes so you have for your pre settings automatic or a maximum setting which will actually raise the vehicle oh, wow. really? and then a minimum setting which will lower the vehicle That's so true. even though this has the color suspension around town if so you're put your feet down easier yeah put a min minimum and then you'll feel more comfortable that way okay the so computer will thing. adjust it for your the person's the rider's weight wow or if you have rider passenger rider luggage rider passenger luggage it'll all adjust for that that is so cool similar bmw switches to everything except these are all blacked out blacked out yeah it's a really nice look Nav have six the keyless ride. Keyless ride. It's already prepped for the Nav six. Okay. Uh, windshield adjustment. Just turn that dial to raise it up or down. Okay. Cool, man. Appreciate it. it. Sounds so good. Twin action. So throw a leg over. Oh, this is not that bad at all. Keyless ride. Just click the button to key it on. Okay. ABS Pro, meaning it's got the lean angle. Cornering ABS. Cornering ABS, got it. So with your suspension, 
flick the switch. Click and hold. So max. Okay. You actually feel it. Oh. Raise, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Ah. And then uh, <laughs> check this out. Okay. Minimum setting. Oh my God. Feel the lowering? Yes. That is, that is so cool. Your ride modes. Okay, up in that top right, Enduro, got it. And then there's a plug to enter in Enduro Pro. Okay. But that is only for off-road use with knobbies on it. Got it. So the ride modes are changing things like the power, the throttle response. I guess in Enduro, probably rear ABS turned right. off. So it's off the ABS to the rear, so it can lock the rear. Okay. All right, man. Enjoy. Thank you. Starts right up. First gear, easy peasy. We are out on the bike. Oh my goodness gracious, gravy sausages. Oh, it's a little bit tall. No, it's not. Let me be completely honest with you. It is not even that tall. Look at this. This foot is on the ground. I'm barely like pulled to the side. And of course I am, because I'm 5'9", 30 inch inseam. And this is an adventure bike. She's a powerful beast. Oh, a little misty Saturday. All right, guys, we are out on the bike. Beautiful 2018 BMW R1200GS Rally. That is a mouthful, but this bike deserves all of those words because it is so flipping cool. So I've been a big fan of the GS. I've ridden the old G GS, the GSA, um, and I've wanted to get on this rally ever since I basically found out that it existed. It is an incredibly cool motorcycle. I love the paint scheme. I love what this is. This is like the GS that you always assume that they would make. It's the GS that I feel like is the most oriented towards off-road riding. Not that any of them are specifically not, but that some of them have a more on-road comfort kind of schema to them. Whereas this Rally Edition, it's got the Rally seat as an option. It still has that beautiful boxer twin that is producing more than enough power. And most notably for me is that this now has the TFT display. I don't know if you guys remember the old GS display, but it was getting a bit outdated. Um, I know that there are some purists out there that really love analog tachometers specifically, and trust me, I thought I was one of them for a really long time until I started thinking to myself, you know what? Embrace the TFT because it provides you with so much more information and it is a really clear way to see it all. Well, motorcycle, I've got to go 35. So, I'm going to put on my handy-dandy cruise control. Wow, when you put on the cruise control on the TFT, it shows you exactly what mile per hour you have it set to. That's nifty. I like that. Of course, menu. I don't really have to show you guys any of this stuff. Oh, God, what have I done? Uh. Uh. No. Eh. Uh, oh. There's so much. Wow. Wow, look at this, 169 miles of range, 14.3 volts, 47.8 PSI in the back, 43.7 in the front. The engine uh, oil temp, I bet, is 100, yeah, that's oil temp, 175 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just looking down. Oh, that is cool. What else does it do? Show me more. Go back to, wow, oh my God. Okay, I really like this. You can have the vehicle information up. It's got the speedometer in the top left. If you can't tell, I'm pretty smitten here. And then in the top right, it has your uh, gear indicator. So if I start turning it that way, it goes down, left, starts coming back up. Keep it where it was, that highest position. I really like that. No uh, buffeting around my helmet. Although, I will say I'm getting a really nice amount of airflow, which is one of my big caveats about bikes like this, like big adventure models that have a ton of wind protection. When you are riding off-road, wind flow is so important because you're just you're getting so ridiculously hot that i would not want something that was not giving me any sort of wind now, like full wind protection is not really what i'm looking for whereas this has the perfect amount whereas like on a long journey i'm, I'm protected and i don't feel fatigued there's nothing in my shoulders or chest there's nothing on my helmet but i'm getting some flow on my arms like my forearms i'm getting flow in my legs 
So that's gonna keep me cool on a long summer journey or if I'm out riding enduro. Of course, you stand up. I look like I'm towering over the road. And then you plop right back down. <laughs> Bikes like these, man, so cool. I, I have no idea how. Oh, so you just hit it up again, and then I'm back in it. This is an incredibly intuitive uh, system. I will say that right here and now. The heated grips are so warm, I wanna curl up with a good book under the covers with these heated grips. That's happening. We are now in a long-term relationship. I'm changing my status on Facebook. We're together now. It has the uh, Gear Shift Assist Pro, which means I have the quick shifter and an auto blipper. Perfect, amazing, fantastic. If I had to think of a word to describe this bike, I would say euphoric, beautiful, enlightened. It's just a great motorcycle. I already love the R1200 GS. And you know, genuinely, I have been considering getting an adventure bike for a really long time. And I've gone out and I've test rode different things. And this is up there it because, specifically for me, because it fits me so well in terms of a height. You know, 30 inch inseam is just not gonna cut it on these crazy tall adventure bikes. It's really difficult for me. You know, you can tiptoe, they're very well balanced, so when you're riding it, it's no big deal. But because I daily my motorcycles, I need it to be at least relatively safe in stop and go traffic or in low speed situations where I'm having to kind of walk the bike around. And on things like the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R, which has a really tall 35 plus inch towering seat height and non-adjustable in terms of its, you know, on the fly electronic adjustment suspension. Whereas this, I sat on it, Sam put me in minimum suspension mode. I felt it lower. And then in that minimum suspension mode, I can now have road, dynamic. And then I can also, when I know I'm going off-roading, I can push it back up to either auto, which just generally um, reads the weight of the rider and adjusts the suspension height accordingly, or I can put it in max and have that max suspension travel, put it in some sort of enduro off-road mode, and just be on the perfect adventure bike in an off-road situation. What up, my dudes? The wide bars are, I mean, they give you so much leverage. It is like, it's like riding a supermoto. You know, you're upright, you got wide bars, crazy back end of power. This is proper, this is nice. Taking Creamery Road now. <gasps> Little twisty bits. Twisty bits? Love the auto blipper in situations like that where you're coming into a turn and you're focused on your braking. Now we're talking. That is properly quick. It doesn't feel quite as planted as something like an S1000R, but you know, that's just, you got a lot more suspension travel. I'm definitely not on equivalent tires to what I have on a sport bike. And uh, of course it just takes a little getting used to. All right, if I had to give this a score out of 10, which I've been doing recently, I'd say this is easily a 9.2. It's uh, incredibly comfortable. I think it's incredibly practical. I think that the power is, you know, usable, but outrageous. It has tons of power, uh, but at no time do I think that it's overpowered. Uh, of course, it's not underpowered. The technology and the features, 10 out of 10, like seriously, everything you'd want out of a BMW. The suspension is like a 15 out of 10. Having that minimum and maximum and then all the road, uh, amazing. So. Yeah, easily 9.2, maybe even higher than that. I'm just trying to be, you know, a bit subjective here. I'd say negatives, quick shifter, not the smoothest I've used. Um, I'm hard pressed. I'm hard pressed to find negative things about this bike. It's just that good.
Oh, Creamery Road is fantastic. That hauls serious. <laughs> that is some some real power right there. Wow. Whew. Wow, boom. All right, guys, but that is going to do it for this review. I am heading back to District Harley-Davidson. I cannot thank them enough. Seriously, an amazing dealership. Uh, please look them up. Linked in the description down below. My main man, Sam, always hooking it up with amazing bikes. Uh, and cannot thank my sponsors enough. Go to gorolic.com if you are looking to purchase one of these to uh, find pricing and really a, a transparent buying experience. They are connecting enthusiasts with a certified network of dealerships like District Harley-Davidson and I just can't thank them enough. And of course this bike, thank you bike, I love it, I, I just do. And I know I say that a lot, but I knew that I would like this bike and I'm so excited that it met, nay, exceeded my expectations, which were high. You know, I got off the bagger, and I really like the bagger, but I think something I said in that review was that you, you expect a BMW to be exceptional. So when it meets that threshold, you just go, okay, cool. I think that this exceeded that exceptional rating that I already had in my mind. The TFT is above and beyond. The power delivery is fantastic. The suspension is just so useful especially for someone like me who's on the shorter end of the scale that really wants to get in to an adventure bike and that's just it just opened the door for me when i sat on this he put the suspension down i knew i could own this bike with no issues so really really amazing thank you guys so much for watching hit that subscribe button if you are new hit that like button if you enjoyed this and as always i'll see you on the next one peace